Hi, this is Melanie Gerald for Bass City Beat, and I'm here at Mount Clemens Middle School, where Miss Burnett's eighth grade language arts class had the opportunity to read a book and ask the author their questions in a video conference called Project Ask. This project uh, is called Project Ask, and the first time we did it was in March of 1999. It was a partnership with the Macomb Intermediate School District, and basically what the kids do, they read a novel, uh, they reflect in a journal, which is the type of writing that is now required on the MEEP test. They create questions um, that do not have a yes or no answer. They have to have an explanation. And then we rehearse and we incorporate all the language arts skills into the interview. Well, of course we had to, you know, read the book. And, like, every day we'd write down a journal from what we read that, you know, you know just, like, told us, like, like showed Ms. Burnett, of course, how we felt about what we read. When you read a book for a program like this, you have to pay attention to the book. Uh, because you're interviewing the author, you need to understand how uh, the main ideas, the plot, the main details. You need to sound like an expert on the book. It puts the kids in a position where they have to read the book in a completely different light. They are going to be interviewing either the person who wrote the book or someone who is a specialist on the topic that they're reading about. So therefore, they, the kids show that they really want to be well prepared to ask questions because they don't want anyone to see them as not being prepared. Hi, my name's Kayla. I'm Janet. My name's Teresa. <laughs> I'm Leah. And our question is, in the book, Arcee and his father were selfish and unfriendly. How come Naomi didn't act the same? You guys could have asked me an easier question. Um, yeah. You know, I th just because you have rotten parents or a rotten family doesn't mean you have to be rotten yourself. And our question is, in the beginning of the book, a character by the name of Harem was explaining his relationship with his dad and growing up in Greenwood. Why did you create the character of Harem to tell the beginning of the story instead of just explaining the circumstances of the South? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's one I wonder, too, because I, he had to know what's going to happen, right? I mean, he knows why the guys would think it happened. Uh, here's, here's why, at least how I understand it. A friend of mine read Mississippi Trial, contacted the author, Professor Crow, and I read the book, and... A friendship, a friendship grew out of this, but I found that this book was very, very uh, interesting, and it was written on a level that the middle school kids can understand, and it brought to light some of the history that the parents and grandparents of my students have experienced. Um, and it just opened their eyes to what life was like in the South during the 30s and the 40s and 50s, and how much still needs to change. I like doing this better than a regular book, book report because we actually get to uh, ask the author what questions we have after we're done reading the book. It only took us a little, a little while to figure out a question because we had a lot of questions and we, we just did process of elimination. The question that I wanted to ask was mainly about the character Naomi in the story. Because she had such a minor role, what was the point on putting her in the story? But unfortunately, I didn't get to ask that question because someone else from the other school basically asked my point of view of the question. It's a pretty smart question, you know, because I never noticed that myself. And, um, it just, and I think it was unconscious, you know, something maybe floating in my brain that I hadn't really thought of. But I questions because R.C. has some qualities that, that my dad has, and um, um, he does a family connection. I mean, the book's dedicated to my dad, all those kinds of things. Yeah, some of my relationships are based on my own life experiences. He knew characters from his real life. That's why he put certain characters in there, because they were from his life. So that helped me understand it better. And he, I also get to, uh, got to see the way, he, like his view of life from 1955 on the South. Because he was the author, he could, he told us like how it, how he even made up the story and how he could do all that. So I guess it made me, it helped me understand like where his, like his perspective of everything. It has kids reading at a higher level and if the kids read at a higher level 
then they understand. And if they understand, then they can apply what they learn to real life situations or, um, you know, other classwork. And so it kind of incorporates everything that they do in one project. And if you have kids reading something that they're interested in, and writing about something that they're interested in, then they're going to become better readers and better writers as a result. So that impacts their whole educational career. Mount Clemens Middle School has been an important part to Project Ask and will soon be one of a select few schools involved in a national video conference in February. The students enjoyed this opportunity and found the author's comments helpful to their understanding of the book, proving once again that technology can only enhance learning in the classroom. For Vastity Beat, I'm Melanie Geralds.